Rodgers is out there with Kelly Oubre and for New Orleans. Ingram and Williamson are the forwards. Whitehead out there with Beasley. And it's Hayes in at the five, patrolling the paint. And what a season it's been for MP, winning player of the month multiple times. He's playing some of the best basketball of his career. You can tell how seriously he takes each and every game. And Greg, some players say they watch the standings. Others say they ignore them. Which side were you on? You, you know, at times I, I did a little of both, but I, I typically wanted to watch, especially when my team was relevant. You know, there was a couple years where I had no uh, no desire at all to see where our team was because I knew we were pretty close to the bottom. It's good. Man, he's really a smart offensive player. You have to respect Ball's strong sense for when to take that jump. Ingram with it, now guarded by Ball. And it's Ingram missing. Ball against Ingram. Rodgers. Here's Akiel. The kick out to Ball. Pass to Rodgers. For the three. It's rebounded by New Orleans. They come into this one following a loss to the Thunder. Yeah, you know they wanted a few of those plays back. What a tough way to go out in that one. Yeah, really a game that they should not have lost, but sometimes even when you play your best, it might not be good enough. Now Ingram, following the miss by Malik Beasley from deep. Lock at six. Second shot opportunity. They shoot again. Rejected by Rodgers. And so it looks like the Pelicans will retain possession here. And now another look at that mobile one-block defensive performance. And an early swap like that can really set the tone. Now the shooters will be feeling his presence. The first quarter of action, two minutes in. To the paint, here's Akiel. That falls, nice feed that time from Ball. And they've scored several times already here in the first quarter on the inside. We've been seeing athletic big men in the NBA now, Brent, for some time, but Zion Williamson raised the bar when it came to that department. Well, there's no doubt about it. And it's, it's this combination that is so strange for people to have to wrap their heads around when you get on the floor with them. You're standing eye to eye to him if you're 6'5", and you don't realize the power, the strength, the quickness off the floor, the ability to put the ball down on the deck. I mean, he's just something that you don't see every day. And it's the reason why Zion's one of the more special players in the league. Al Beasley, after Terry Rozier's three-pointer that didn't go. Outside, ball. Pelicans pull it in. They'll have a hard time shaking that one off. Perfect position. Plenty of space. Just clanking. And first time out of the game called for New Orleans. Trying to snap them out of this little slump. Well, they can't find the net right now. And all they need, I think, is just to get one to go. Get back on track. Williamson, the pass to Ingram. And it's Ingram missing. Hornets leading by six. The pass to Rogers. The kick out to Ball. Charlotte no good that time either. His touch has left him in this quarter. Nowhere close to the kind of output they need from him. Oh, you hear that sound? That's the flushing of the toilet right there. <laughs> like a fierce two-handed. Now, here's Ball. Boy, he was something else against the Lakers. A shot's good from Rodgers. And there's one aspect of the game LaMelo's not going to ignore. Keeping his teammates involved and the offense working as a unit. Here's Whitehead. No points in the game yet for him. Uncovered at the rim, finding cracks in the defense here early on. Just really smart basketball and exploiting whatever holes that he's seeing right now in the defensive squad. Now, here's Ball driving to the basket. The second chance effort. Jump shot is good that time. And if you're the guy who has to guard him, it is never going to be an easy night for you. 
Ingram passes to Whitehead. 151 left in the first quarter of the game. That one goes. Count it. Well, that just scrambled the defense all kinds of ways with that great initial pass. Now, here's ball. D right on him. Another shot. It's good. Ball's got six. Of all the action happening there, it's the assist that jumps out to me there. That's just a great look and a great setup for the bucket. Now here's Higgins. 12 points his last outing. Ingram passes to Whitehead. Over Rogers. Five to shoot. Will not go. This is off the front eye. The drive by Ball. And Ball no, no, no. slams it in. And a little bit of showmanship from Ball on that slam, displaying some athletic ability. Orleans moving it around, and he comes up with the deuce. He's got six. Not just the accuracy in the quarter, it's his movement and the energy that's getting him on this nice roll. Outside, ball. Pass to Rogers. Ball with it. Pass to Rogers. Tipped away. The time for the ball. And it's out of bounds to the Pelicans. And New Orleans going with a whole new group out there. The floor for the away Pelicans trail by six. Lewis dishes to Robinson. Pass to Fisenko. And it's blocked by Rogers. Just doing the job on the backboard. Fade away. Doesn't go that time. D giving him that shot, and that's probably not a good idea, but I guess they knew what they were doing that time. The putback, it's good on the putback. And you know we talk about it all the time, guys. Those second chance buckets, always the result of that extra effort. LaMelo Ball getting it done for the Hornets. For moments during that quarter, it felt like a one-man wrecking crew. It seemed he was doing everything. Coming off to the so floor for the away team. He's gone one of one in the game so far from the line. And at 78%, he's been a consistent shooter at the line for them all season long. The talented front court pair is Ingram and Williamson. Malik Beasley out there with Whitehead, and it's Hayes in at the five down low. So that's the group out there for New Orleans. And we've got an update here, so let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sideline. Thanks, Kevin. Boss in that last matchup against the Lakers was phenomenal. He had 30 points and was his usual dominant self on the glass. He put up great numbers in a terrific effort. It's not a game that anyone wanted to miss. And they'll be looking for a repeat performance tonight, Kevin. Yeah, David, he was in attack mode all night long. G.A. really propelled that with that win. He's on. He is on. And there isn't all that much you can do to stop him. And sometimes you can just look at a guy and you see the confidence that he's playing with. That's what I like best. And this may not be the juiciest stat you'll ever get, but the development of Brandon Ingram as a free throw shooter early in his career was shocking. And the Hornets making a change here. Rogier's checked in. Here's Rogers with the second effort. Tries again. And the big shot is good. And they gotta like what they've been doing down low in the post. The Pelicans have gone 8 of 14 in the second quarter on field goal attempts. Greg, as we take a look at Ingram's free throw shooting, he went from a mediocre performer at the line to almost automatic after a few years in the NBA. And Kevin, it's a testament to the work he's put in. It was an area of his game he had to develop, and he didn't ignore it. And now his aggression on the court pays off with points at the line. Oh, and they get in the way of the alley-oop. Not to be. Good play defensively. Left side, ball. The pass to Rogers. To the middle. Balls, nice feed that time from Ball. Ball's got three assists in the game. 
And so Whitehead will bring it up for the New Orleans Pelicans. Following this game, they hit the road. They'll take on the Knicks in New York. And that one will start off a three-game road trip for the team. Kicks it out to Beasley. Passes it to Hayes. Shot clock at six. Rolls up on the elbow. Rejected by Rogers. They recover it. And you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. Down low. It's tipped. Here's Akio. Pass the ball. Oubre outside. Moves back up. And it's blocked. Rozier against Beasley. Ingram wide open. And again, New Orleans has no luck. Right side, ball. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Nice work to get it inside. And long contact. The Hornets shooting their third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. And they've shot the ball well this season in, in, in terms of their attempts. 81%. From deep three-point range. So that'll be it for the first half. Fairly... And if you're just joining us, we've played through the first half in a game that's been fairly even so far. And Greg, you made your money on the defensive end. What was the toughest kind of player to defend? A one-on-one -on -one guy or, or a constant movement type of player? Uh, I've always will say that it's harder to guard movement. You know, as a defender, you're, you, you drill a lot about guarding the basketball. But when a guy is great without it, man, that is the hardest job when you can have defensive. Third Lamar quarter Lamar. action getting rolling right now. Brought to you by Gatorade. All filled up and ready to go. Here's who's on the floor. And Charlotte looking at who they've got. The guard spots are filled by Ball and Rogier. Oubre out there with Rogers. No good from Beasley. No one to blame on that one but himself. You get looks like that, you've got to take it back. Ball kicks to Uber. To the inside. The kick out to Ball. He takes it in, and Ball slams it in. Making the most of the screen. That's how it's done. And it's... ...in the perfect... Greg frees him up to get all the way to the bucket. Really not enough help there. Lack of communication on the backside. Pass to Ingram. New Orleans moving it around. Six to shoot. Here's Williamson. And denied. He sends it right off the glass. And out of the gates here in this second half, they have not started well. 0 of 3. And there it is for them. And now it's an eight-point Hornets lead. Well, the talk at halftime must have been a good one. Right now, three straight buckets to start the quarter. And here is Ingram. Right now, he averages nearly 23 points a game, a relentless offensive force. He's leading the pass to Williamson. And here's Ingram from the arc. Wow, came this close to a four-point play. He'll head to the line for three free throws. First team foul. Well, when you make these kind of improvements in your game, you're putting in a lot of work in the offseason. Brandon Ingram growing up right in front of us. And some changes here for the Hornets. Miles Bridges, he's checked in for Oubre. Fournier comes in for Terry Rozier. And Derrick Rose is subbed in for ball. Well, a great player on a great role at the charity stripe. The D has got to be careful about being too aggressive on him and sending him back for freebies. The kick out to Rose. Over Lewis. And it's Rose missing. Yeah, but they're three of four to start the second half. Three-pointer. Lewis misses. Not sure they realize it's not halftime anymore. Four attempts. And they're still looking for their first bucket. And there's the pass to Rogers. 
over for Cinco. Pelicans pull it in. Lewis outside. He dishes it to Robinson. Shades over Fournier. And the shot is good. The Hornet lead has been cut down now to just three on the basket from Robinson. There you go. Finally getting one to drop. They have to be a little better now starting one for five in this half. And he uses the glass on the lane. Rose has got his third basket of the night. Well, defensively, they've been flat in this second half. A very different type of team than we saw in the first. Ingram against Rodgers. Passes to Lewis. Feeds it to Fisenko. And that one is off. And Charlotte will go the other way with it. And, Kevin, one thing you have to respect about Derrick Rose is that he's never stopped evolving. He's constantly adapting his game to best fit what his team needs. The plan of attack is obvious. Get the ball inside and go strong to the right. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. That's his second personal When you think about how Derrick Rose has changed, Greg, as a player, you see some of that in almost every facet of his game. And yeah, over the years, he's tuned his shooting and play style in lots of little ways. But what hasn't changed is his talent for setting guys up. He's got a great eye for when and where to drop the guy. Norwood's making a switch here. Alexander Walker's checked in. And hard work on the glass. Once again, guys, and they put a lot of effort and focus on the backboard. Williamson is checked in for New Orleans. Pelicans trail by seven. And finished off by Williamson. Yeah, so fun to watch him get fancy on any finish. Zion again to the rack. And it's slammed in by Bridges. And he just dangles from the bucket after sending that one through. And you can see which team has the swagger right now. And there's the call on box. That is his first foul of the game. Third team foul. One thirty-one left to play in the third. Alexander Walker. No good with the triple. Charlotte leading by seven. Bridges attacking, and it's slammed in by Bridges. And solid at just cutting through the defense. Give Bridges a lane, and he'll make you pay. Inside, here's Pasenko. Excellent defense there from Rodgers. Hate to say it, but if they're still trailing at the final buzzer, a lot of this is going to be felt by him. His shooting tonight has just been atrocious. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. And a closer look here at the hustle stand for the checking in for the away team. One minute now into this fourth quarter. Here is Rogers. Oubre passes to Washington. Outside ball. Out left to the wing. Six on the shot clock. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Even from over here, you can see that was pretty clear. And both free throws good for Rodgers. And so Whitehead will bring it up for the Pelicans. They trail by six. Ingram and Williamson are the forwards. Whitehead out there with Duncan Robinson. And it's Hayes at the pivot spot. Manning the middle. So that's the group out there for New Orleans. We try to find other ways to talk about Zion's leaving ability. How about timing? Showing it there. As to Rogers. There's the three. And the Hornets miss again. The Pelicans have gone outstanding four or five in the field in the fourth quarter so far. And there's the call on box. That's, second That's foul, foul number two for him. First team foul. And so it's New Orleans with it. Some nice passing here by New Orleans. Pass to Whitehead. Just five on the clock. From deep. And LaBelle 
puts a lot into his defense. He, he's going to be in your face all game long, challenging Ooh. every shot. And there is a Jackson whistle, and it's going to go on Jackson Hayes. That's his second personal foul. That'll be his second foul Third of the game. Ogier for three, and it's Williamson with the rebound. Pelicans trail by four. Robinson on the wing. Rogier defending. Here's Williamson, and that's good. Robinson picking up the assist. Williamson's got four points this quarter. Now, here's Ball. He's guarded close. And the pass to Rogers. Over Hayes. Charlotte again missing. For New Orleans, they've gone 5 of 7 from the field since the beginning of the fourth. Strong work at that end of the floor. And they'll get another chance. And here's the fast break. Ball leading the way. And it's Brandon Ingram with the foul. That'll be his second foul of the game. And now only one away from being in the penalty. Fourth team foul. And we're about three minutes into the fourth quarter. Rogier kicks to Uber. To the left wing. Ball against Williamson. Well, Zion right there was big, wide, just smothered the shooter. Down low, here's Hayes. Williamson finds Hayes. Here's Whitehead, covered by Oubre. Offensive rebound. Here's Williamson. Outside for Robinson. And no good, had a chance to take the lead there. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. Duncan Robinson. That's his second person. That's good from Rogier. You know, and every year, it just seems like Rogier gets better. You see his drive, the hunger, the desire to keep improving. Here's Whitehead. He's covered by Ball. Shot clock at six. Rejected by Rogers. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Ball. An all timeout called by New Orleans. Nice game. Great performance so far by LaMelo Ball. And he's in a complete groove right now. I don't think they can stop him altogether, but, but they at least need to make him work a little harder than he has been. And now, let's present our New Balance player of the game, Boss. And guys, it's been a rugged brand of defense he's played. Uh, I don't know why they keep taking the ball at him. It. It, it seems like every time they have, he's come up with two rejection. Remaining in the and with every block, he's only gotten more. Uh, two and two more fired up. On the sideline, let's catch up with Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Well, guys, during the last break, I listened to the Pelicans coach talk to his team and told the players, you guys are too talented to be playing this lackadaisical. Push the ball up the floor, get out on the break, and get to the fast break. Guys, we'll see if we can get it done. Okay, David, thanks. Yeah, draw the D in, kick it out for the open shot. That's taking a page straight out of your textbook. Well done. Loops it up for Williamson. No good there. Yeah, and that was lining up to be a huge alley -oop, but they just couldn't quite connect. Yeah, you can see when it's that close, players reacting. Oh, oh, man, they just missed that one. Three. Maybe they'll get another chance at it. And I think the defense has more concerns out there on the floor. And they give them a good open look. Yeah. And the call That's will be first against first LaMelo first. Ball. Second That's his first five. foul. New Orleans making a switch here. Beasley's checked in. Whitehead deciding where to go with it. Ball with it. Now defended by Williamson. And Ball slams it in. And they've done some nice work as we've come down the stretch here in the final quarter. And right now is when you have to lay it on the line. Between the two teams, they've clearly been the aggressor. Whitehead passes to Williamson. Over to the wing. Off the run. Whitehead shot is off. Not a way to get out of the funk. He needs to be looking for good, solid, more efficient shots. Not the wild one he took there. Yeah, clearly he had established position there. And he knocks down the first one. Taking third overall in 2020. LaMelo Ball is a unique player. Like his brother Lonzo, very tall at the point at 6'6", and he'd much rather pass it 
than shoot it. And these are the types of games where one team clearly has the edge. Tonight, it will be a win by a large margin for the Hornets. The one area that stands out that uh, we've seen tonight from them, their aggressiveness in getting steals, something I know that you really value yourself. I, I think it sparked their offense. Uh, it, it deflates the opposition. And when you have the type of effort we saw tonight, it's pretty hard to overcome that defensive pressure down the stretch. And this will now push it to a total of 44 games in the win column on the season. Really, they had their number this season. Two wins, a home win, and an away win. And what a huge standout performance it was for Boss. Uh, he, he was in the zone. Uh, he's just a man on a mission, and that helped him notch that triple-double. And there's the drive. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Bulls got the lead up to 14 now for the Hornets. Balls knocked loose. Stolen by Ball. Count the basket. Finishing strong. This is how you want to close things out. Yeah, definitely putting a stamp on this one. A very, very decisive victory for the club tonight. So no problem. for Charlotte as they get the win. A resounding victory for them. And Greg in enemy territory, no less. And that's exactly right. But with the way they controlled the game and, and just completely took the crowd out of it, that's how to get it done on the road. And that about wraps it up. For Brent Berry, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan along with our 2K Sports crew thanking you for tuning in. We'll see you later.